Hello scholars, today we are reading Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone put on number 65 sunscreen before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach by Melanie Watt. Scaredy Squirrel never goes to the beach. He'd rather vacation at home alone where it's safe than risk being surrounded by the wrong crowd. A few crowds Scaredy Squirrel wouldn't want to be caught in the middle of. Herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, tons of falling coconuts, mobs of lobsters. So he's perfectly happy to build his very own private beach. Scaredy Squirrel's Guide to Building a Safe Beach. What you need to get started. Paper and crayons, one stick, one inflatable pool, one flashlight, one bag of kitty litter, one plastic flamingo. Step one, draw beach scenery. Two, use stick to hold upright. Three, cover ground with sand. Four, inflate ocean. Five, turn on sunlight. Six, install beach wildlife. And enjoy. It looks like a beach and feels like a beach, but it doesn't sound like one. Scaredy Squirrel notices something's missing. The soothing sound of the ocean. The solution? Make a quick trip to the real beach and find a seashell that fits the description below. Seashell, quality and performance chart. Germ free, shiny exterior, crystal clear ocean sound. Red alert, seashell must not, I repeat, not be occupied. But traveling to the real beach requires careful planning. First, get a passport. Second, draw a map. Beach map. Operation, mission, Operation Seashell. 7 o'clock a.m. Enter box and wait. Don't forget passport. 7.30 a.m. Get picked up by mail truck. Verify passport. 8.42 a.m. Arrive at beach and wait until the coast is clear. Don't lose passport. 11.42 a.m. Exit box and find seashell. Hold passport. 1.49 p.m. Enter box and wait for pickup. Check passport. 6 o'clock p.m. Get delivered back to nut tree. Put away passport. So let's see. He starts here. And then the seashell should be here. Caution. Falling coconuts have a mind of their own. They can knock you out without warning. Careful, birds of a feather flock together. Seagulls can drop by at any time. Never trust a mob of lobsters. They are pinch territorial and are eager to snap. Important, sea monsters are camera shy, so keep camera close by. Ahoy, matey, watch for pirates, arg. They'll make you walk the plank. Stay away from tribes of jellyfish. You'll be stung by how sneaky they can be. And last but not least, travel light and dress accordingly. Scaredy's Beachwear. This squirrel is a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Exhibit A, protective headgear for falling coconuts. Exhibit B, protective eye patch to fool pirates. Exhibit C, protective flotation device for preventing sinking, to prevent sinking. Exhibit D, protective camera to discourage sea monsters. Exhibit E, protective compass to avoid getting lost. Exhibit F, protective footgear to shield from jellyfish. Exhibit G, protective rubber band to tame lobsters. Exhibit H, protective oven mitts to block germs. 
Exhibit I, protective french fry to distract seagulls. Remember, if all else fails, play dead and send an SOS. The next morning, as planned, Scaredy Squirrel jumps into the box. At 7.30 a.m., he gets picked up. They drive and drive. At 8.42 a.m., Scaredy gets dropped off and waits. And waits. 11.42 a.m., a crowd appears. People were not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel panics and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the perfect seashell is right under his nose. Surrounded by friendly people, he decides to join the crowd. Scaredy Squirrel builds sand castles, takes pictures, floats around in the ocean, and sunbathes with the others. He forgets all about the flock of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, tons of falling coconuts, and mobs of lobsters. He's glad to be part of the crowd. Back home, after a day of fun in the sun, Scaredy Squirrel's inspired to make one more important addition to his own beach. A crowd! P.S. As for Scaredy's next visit to the beach, it might be sooner than he thinks. <gasps> Red alert. I hope you guys enjoyed that story, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!